Good morning everyone. Today is Saturday, November 17th and I get to go out on a ride. I am very happy to be out on a motorcycle today. It is a brisk 63 degrees and sunny. It's invigorating. It's fun. There's another car show going on today over at Hutto High School but I chose to ride instead because of the weather and that's going to change again tomorrow as another cold front comes in and possibly showers throughout the day uh, tomorrow and 50% on Monday as well so I am out here taking advantage of it and looking to go to Lexington and stop and Look at the site, see the, um, the happenings of the town. Today is a big day. It's the only day that uh, Snow's Barbecue is open. It's area famous for one of the best barbecues around. It fills up the, um, it fills up the little center of town. People come from all over to have this uh, Snow's Barbecue. I've had it, it's pretty good. And uh, people start online at uh, 10 a.m. or earlier to uh, get their place in line for the first brisket that comes off of the uh, off of the table or off of the cutting board. We'll see if they have market days as well today. That's another thing that uh, I like to see when I go to Lexington market days are are fun you see local farmers you see honey from local beekeepers you see crafts a bunch of stuff anyway I like that stuff they will just go see and walk around say hi to folks and uh, everybody's so darn friendly so we're on our way we're about to get on curvy 1660 once again so I can get off of this highway but you got to get on some highway to get to where you're going Unfortunately, I added the add more light strip on the back of uh, my bike, which is a nice feature or has some nice features. It has a decel, automatic decel, where as you slow down it starts flashing to warn people behind you that you are slowing down and then it has a turn signal feature when you put on your regular turn signal it starts flashing as well it's got a bunch of LEDs red and yellow across the back of it and uh, I'd like to show you guys once I get off so you can check it out. It, it uh, you got to make your own plugs, which are unique to Indian, so that they match up. Well, not too difficult. I enjoy doing it. It's attached to the trunk, which is removable. That's why you make the plug, so you can plug and unplug as you're putting your tour pack on and off. I like the extra visibility it offers. Darn, we're hitting all the lights today. I like the extra visibility it offers and uh, warns drivers again of um, what your intentions are. Motorcycles slow down 
faster than cars do just by the nature of their engine compression. And so you just tend to slow down without putting your brake on and it doesn't give a, a following rider any clue to your slowing down or stopping. So good idea after all. Coming up to the curvy part. It's always fun. Keeps your skills sharp. Like the wind has picked up a little bit. So I may raise up my windshield a little to cut down on the wind noise. been riding this road for years, it doesn't change much. Just a cool little curvy road. It's about eight miles long, it gets you from Hutto, Texas to Copeland, Texas, which I've talked about in the past. A couple small small towns. There's Rice's Crossing in between. There's Norman's Crossing in between. Lots of open fields. Looks like something's burning up ahead. I guess he's got a fire of sorts going. Oh yeah, bonfire. It's, uh, as I say, 63 degrees. Got my heated grips on which makes the difference if you have cold hands which I do so it makes the ride very comfortable the rest is very refreshing and a fun to ride road very little cemetery sometimes you don't see these sites no matter how many times you travel on this road and when the fall comes and some of the leaves drop is when you finally pick out some new sights and visions to see anyway it's fun here's Norman's Crossing Hadn't been out for a couple weeks because of the weather. It got real cold. We had uh, here in central Texas. It's a, it's about 
two weeks early or three weeks early that we had 22 degrees in the morning. That kept us cold for about a week. Granted, it warmed up in the afternoon, but some days it stayed in the 40s, which for us, we're cold. <laughs> it's what you're used to is how you feel about the ambient weather at the time. And we seem to come off of summer sometimes have a very quick fall and go right into winter but I sure will take this over snow and ice and the fact that I can ride year round without the concern of snow and ice we may get one snow a winter or one ice stone a winter the good thing about it is uh, the morning may be cold and frozen over, but by the time lunchtime comes around, it's typically uh, typically melted. So not too bad of a deal. This intersection coming up is, uh, there's a flashing stop at it, but they have had more accidents at this intersection. And that's because people don't stop, they just barrel on through. And don't realize there is a full stop there. Did a lot of work on this part of the road. It uh, it's rather bumpy and rough. They use that uh, oil stone or chip seal. But it is shaky. You take the good with the bad. Well, I'll let you all go and uh, I'll pick up a little later check in and uh, everybody be safe out there. <laughs>